Hey guys, and welcome back to another video. And as you can see here, I've got a bunch of giant slimes and Santas and all that good stuff. And Santa's pooping coal everywhere. <laughs> and this is part of the new growth and shrink ray. And it took quite a bit of processing, even after the stream that I streamed. Um, I had to figure out a weird bug where the entities would share collision boxes. And you know what? Let me just double check that I fixed that issue. So if I spawn a slime, then I use the growth ray on it. Now it's huge. If I spawn another slime, yep, it's all fixed. Nice. What I had to end up doing, or what I ended up doing, was having to store each one of the mobs collision box into a global table and even though it's only one uh, one table per mob and it is a global table and it's only called when a mob is spawned so it doesn't do any lag whatsoever uh, it's still a weird workaround that I, I found and I'm not really sure if that's a known bug with mine test but I mean that's the only way I could find to uh, go around it but yeah here we go we got Santa spawn and he's pooping coal everywhere and it is just a mess oh my goodness and I think I'm gonna have to uh, update Santa so he does particles all over his body when he gets bigger but yeah there's also a shrink ray so Santa could be really small we got a tiny pocket sized Santa and that must hurt a lot because that coal is as big as he is <laughs> Let's make him big again. Yeah. He's huge. See how big he is compared to me. I gotta go fast. And he is absolutely huge. Oh my goodness. So is this slime. This slime is massive. And you can grow or shrink all the mobs. Uh, they all work with it. So let's spawn them all in here. Spawn another slime, make him huge. Then we'll spawn a sheep and make it huge. And the animation speed needs to be updated to how big the mob is. That's one thing I'm going to get to eventually. And of course, Santa. Santa's going to start making errors from how many entities are in the area. There he goes, shuffling away. And now we have giants in mind test. And of course, we can do a giant horse. The horse is freaking huge. And the visual size and collision boxes scale up identically to how they are at 1 by or 1, which is default scale. They go down to 0.2 scale or up to 5 scale, which is what these guys are at. And technically, you could still ride these. Um, I would have to make the offset of the eye adjust for how big the horse is so you could ride gigantic horses around. And of course, you can put a saddle on him. After I tame him, of course. And voila, there you go. I don't know how that saddle fit on this horse, but okay. Now, the last one is the fish. I need to readjust the fish's uh, collision box to be more straight and I need to fix the bug where they're on the angle I think I am still getting if there's a node below them but yeah let's make the fish huge and of course they need to be pushed over I'll flop like normal it's kinda silly actually and I'll push them into the water eventually this horse is getting in the way Oh no, I made the fish tiny, no! Push a tiny little fish in there then. This collision box is so small. Alright, get in there. Get in there. Santa is just making a mess. Oh god, this is a disaster. This is just a disaster. Alright, let's just spawn some fish. Spawn 20 of them, I guess. And this is a cool little effect when you spawn fish. They'll all stay in one and then they'll go shooting out when they finally get spawned. 
And I am running in server step zero, so I get the minimal amount of lag going on. And it all seems to flow pretty nicely. So we'll make a Jaws type fish. I think I'm making it, yeah, I'm making this guy huge. And he's the big boy. He's the big fish. And you can make the other fish big too. I'll probably make it so when you feed the fish, yeah, feed the fish fish food, uh, they, try saying that ten times fast by the way, uh, they, they grow bigger or whatever. The intention on the size is that when you breed animals and stuff, of course you're not going to be able to breed Santas, that's, that's just weird. <laughs> but if you breed like horses and slimes or fish or sheep, then when they make a baby, there's going to be a cooldown timer for the two parents until they can uh, mate again or whatever you want to call it. And then the actual mob they spawn, be tiny, kind of like around, probably like around there and it'll just kind of grow bigger over time. And it is absolutely tiny. Let's see if this guy can get over that. Yes he can, wow that's impressive. See if I can make him smaller. Oh, that's as small as he'll get. And I think I'm going to make it so this ray works on players too. And of course, you can have tiny slimes. Little pocket sized slimes. And all the physics still work great when they're tiny. And when they're huge. And when they're in water, they still float like they do when they're normal sized. So everything works really nicely. And that's about it for now, guys. If you want to try it out, the link is in the description. Um, this guy is just kind of crawling around. Let's see what happens when I ride him. Oh, God, what happened here? All right, I think I'm going to have to make the eye offset adjust for how big the mob is. Because that's, that's a little interesting, to say the least. But, uh, yeah, thanks for watching, guys. And I will probably make a video as soon as I adjust the eye offset of riding a mob. So I'll see you in a couple minutes. Peace out.